What is good everybody? Mark here and today I will be making a video on what I think is the best deck in Shadowverse Champions Battle to get you through that late game grind around chapter 7. And I created this deck, I think it's really good, and I honestly think it's one of the best ways, like I said, to get you through the grind. Because this game gets super challenging, but I love it. I love the challenge, I love this game, and I know a lot of people don't play, but if you do, comment down below if you if you do play this game, and I would love to play somebody online with this deck. So if you guys play this game and are looking for somebody to challenge online, comment down below and we can kind of work something out. But basically, I'm going to kind of just go through this deck and show you kind of how I play it and why I believe it's pretty freaking good. So, the honestly, the, it's built around this neutral card called Path to Purgatory. Now, this is a Forest Craft deck. I love using Forest Craft. It's my favorite in the game to, to use in terms of decks. Um, and, and this Path to Purgatory deck... It deals 6 damage to all enemies, so that includes their leader if you have at least 30 shadows. So to get shadows, you want to have discarded followers, destroyed followers in battle, and that will get you your shadows that you need. Nox Yourself is kind of the mythical card that this deck is built around, so if you discard fairies in your hand, you can draw more, more cards. So this one is super important and just a super good card. One of the best in the game in my opinion. Obviously, we've got Crystalia Tia, which is used for kind of defense for late game because this is this deck is not a quick, you know, a quick deck that you can just beat somebody super quick. It does take time because you need those shadows. Fairy Princess is pretty good in terms of, you know, combining with Noxious Elf, and I just love this card. I mean, this design is super cool. Like, I just like the card, so that's why I include it in the deck. But basically, you want to use your Flower Fox a lot to com combine it with the Fairy Circle and your Fairy Whisperer. The Goblin Conscription is super important because that adds more goblins to your hand, so that's more followers you can use to either discard. Um, Altered Fate, you never want to have two of these in your hand because that kind of ruins the whole purpose because you want to discard your hand and draw you know a new hand uh, so if you have two in your hand that's kind of bad luck um, and then also the elf child may and nature's guidance kind of um, if you have these two in your hand I'd wait until you can kind of use use these as a combo to try to you know play it get the uh, da the one damage there and then you know and then pull it back with nature's guidance and you get to draw another card um, so yeah, basically what you want to do is just keep destroying your, uh, you know, followers and, in a, in a, you know, obviously you want, you want to do it, you don't want to just destroy your followers, like, you want to do it obviously purposefully, but you want to get, and even discard them, the 30 shadows, deal 6 damage, once you have one of these on the field, basically there's nothing your enemy can do, as long as it, as long as one of their followers don't have more than 6, um, hit points, which, Honestly, I've never once. Honest, once we'll go back to the deck. Once I've had Path of Purg Purgatory on the field, I basically won every matchup. Um, so, yeah, I, I like this deck. Um, Knock yourself. You can get from Vanessa. So if you beat Vanessa two times, um, one throughout the story. If you if you help her three times with her uh, quests, you get one. If you beat her, I think Master Tier deck, you get one, and then. There's another one for 3,000. So if we go to here and talk to this lady, there's one for 3,000 Umber Coins here. So if we talk to this lady, and she's got one here for 2,000. Oh, there's 2,000, so perfect. Um, so yeah. And then the Goblin Conscription. So if we go back into the deck super quick, and you can get this on the first level of the uh, Underground. And then you just want to make copies of it. And because it's like, what, a bronze, I think it's worth like 100 Umber Coins. And then like copies are worth 50. So, um, the, you know, the copy guy is right over here. So he lets you copy your cards. So, yeah, uh, this is a really good deck. You know, this will probably help you get, like I said, this helped me get through the last part of the game. I hope it gets you through. This is a incredibly difficult game just for me. I don't know. Maybe if I just suck. I like maybe I suck at deck building or whatever. Um, but it's a lot of fun too. It's a lot of fun too. One of my favorite card games. And yeah. So I hope this helped. You know, want to take a screenshot or whatever, and then you know, make your own kind of off of this. That would be cool too. 
But like I said, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If it was, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And if you do play this game, leave a comment. And I'd love to like play people online. So if anybody plays, let me know. Leave a comment. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Peace.